Rebecca Wayne, Christian journalist and lawyer David French, says America will be in better shape in 2024 if Joe Biden is elected and President Trump is defeated. I have no idea how he could justify that statement. Does he want judges who make their own laws and are accountable to no one? Or does he want judges who follow the original meaning of the Constitution and of laws, as he would under Donald Trump? Does he want higher taxes under Biden or lower taxes under Trump? Does he want more futile attempts at gaining equality and hindering our economic growth or more prosperity under Trump? Does he want meager economic growth under Biden and fewer jobs or strong economic growth under Trump? Um, High unemployment under Biden as it was under Obama or low unemployment under Trump? Will he work toward further reconciliation between Israel and Arab countries, as Donald Trump has done with the UAE? Or will he marginalize Israel and let Benjamin Netanyahu? Under Biden, we would have no legal protection for unborn babies. But under Donald Trump, we've had increasing protection for unborn babies. More school choice or less school choice? Does he want increasing attempts by government to force Christians to violate their consciences and their sincerely held religious beliefs? under Trump, strong protections for religious freedom and freedom of conscience. Uh, And the last item I would mention, uh, under Biden, we'd have extreme environmentalist policies leading to enormous increases in energy prices and frequent blackouts, not only in California, but elsewhere. Under Trump, we've had abundant energy and cheaper energy. Well, I'm getting the impression that you disagree with David French. He considers uh, President Trump to be very divisive. How do you respond to that? There's been a hostility toward President Trump since the day he took office. And that divisiveness comes from an increasingly hostile and violent left. But the divisiveness is coming from people, not who disagree with him, but people who call themselves the resistance and try to oppose everything he does. Uh, That's contrary to Romans 13.1, which says, let every person be subject to the governing authorities. He resists the authority, resists what God has appointed. Well, let me ask this. What do you think will happen in November and perhaps even December if the election results aren't clear? It'll be resolved through the constitutionally prescribed legal process. There's a deadline for states to turn in their num- their electoral vote tallies. And if that is not decisive, then it goes to the House of Representatives. And the delegation of each state is allowed one vote in the House of Representatives. And Republicans have a slight majority in that scenario. And the House of Representatives would choose Donald Trump as president, I expect. Well, that would be that would be quite a scenario. Yeah, I don't think that's what the Lord has in store for us, Marvin. I certainly hope and hope and pray not. Um, what are President Trump's most significant legislative accomplishments? Well, first of all, the appointment of Supreme Court justices and the approval of over 200 other judges Um, That's, in a sense, it's legislative because it needs approval through the Senate. Then a defense budget that was uh, around $750 billion, the largest in history, strengthening our military, which was really weakened under Obama. Uh, And then um, there was some legislative approval of a measure of funding for uh, building a wall on our southern border. So it wasn't as much as President Trump wanted, but it was something. Uh, And then the um, response to the COVID-19 crisis was a bipartisan legislative uh, recovery package uh, in the midst of a crisis. So there are some significant things that have been done. One more question then. What do you think about the number of refugees a lot in the U.S. hitting an all-time low? I wish the number were higher, honestly. But I, I think it's part of a larger question where the nation has to decide... What is the will of the people regarding immigration policy in general? For many years, we've admitted more refugees to the United States than all other countries in the world combined. Now, last year's 18,000 was a uh, decline from that number, and I would hope it will return to a higher number. <laughs> 